Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just a quick disclaimer before I start the video. I just want to let you guys know that later today at 5 p.m. PST or 8 p.m. EST, if you're on the eastern coast of the United States like I am, I will actually be hosting a stream for the Kingdom Key series where you guys can send me your albums just like for the regular Kingdom Key series. And I will be live during stream going over your guys albums and setups and answering questions and whatnot so if you have questions or you would like some help on your about your setups or what to do or just need help getting past certain things in the game go ahead check out the stream check it out okay i will be more than happy to help you guys out but other than that let's get started with today's video Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeff, and today we're going over the HD Vanitas EX Plus medal that just got released uh, yesterday. As you can already see, I already have the medal updated on my website right here at k2xnation.com. Um, it's right here on the front page of the home screen, just like usual. But if you happen to be coming from a later point in the future, uh, you can always go to the Metal Analysis tab in the top right corner, go to All Metals, and go to Tier 8, and you'll find the link to, to the metal, okay? But, for those of you that are checking this out right now, you can go to the website, and you can click on this right here, and it will take you straight to the actual Metal Analysis article itself. I usually take a lot of time to put as much effort into pointing out the pros and cons, as well as short little descriptions. I put together little setups, even some like competitive setups too for you guys, so it's worth checking out. Uh, I, I I enjoy making them for you guys. But other than that, at the very least, let's go over today's medal. Now, before I say anything else, I just want to say that pretty much HD Vanitas EX Plus is pretty much literally just a magic version of the Sephiroth EX Plus medal that we just got a while ago. So, a lot of things in here are going to be pretty much the same and repetitive. For those type of things, I'm just going to pretty much just tell you to go check out the Sephiroth EX video that I uh, made like just a, just a while ago and stuff. But at the very least, I'm also going to show you guys quite a bit of new stuff too. But other than that, let's go into the actual metal analysis itself. HD Vanitas EX Plus is a magic reverse metal tier 8 AoE. He has a consistent total max multiplier of 15.38. He uses 4 gauges and for one turn, he lowers the target's reverse defense by 2 tiers, magic defense by 7 tiers, and he inflicts more damage to the higher HP. Now, just like with Sephiroth EX+, Plus, okay, he pretty much has the same exact strengths and weaknesses as Sephiroth EX+, Plus, so I'm not going to really take much, too much time to uh, say the same exact things. I'm just going to quickly go over them real quick. But essentially, the main thing about this metal is the fact that he doesn't provide any buffs whatsoever, and he doesn't provide any general defense down debuffs, okay? So, basically, what that means is that if you don't already have Illustrated Kyrie or Shion EX, you're probably going to have a little bit of difficulty trying to use this metal effectively. But if you do have them, then you're all good. Preferably Sh Shion EX, though. But, saying that, alright, let's get into the actual juicy stuff, which is essentially, how does HD Vanitas EX Plus compare to the other metals, okay? And just like always, like I always do, we're going to my spreadsheets. This is where all the juicy stuff happens, okay? This is this is what truly defines how good a metal is when you can compare it to the other metals in the game. Because realistically, that's what we do anyways, uh, whether we realize it or not. Um, all I'm doing it is taking it a step further and actually looking full-blown at their legitimate stats. So... Saying that, this right here is a complete list of all the medals currently in the game. But for now, we're going to look at just the tier 8s. Okay, so this is the tier 8 uh, section that I have right now. I even included in the spreadsheet as well as on the page some of the future tier 8 medals that we're going to be getting fairly soon. Probably this month. Um, and we'll be able to compare them to those as well. Especially since we don't really have too many tier 8 medals in the first place at the moment either. So it's like, why not? All right. But at the very least... After looking at these uh, medals, okay, if we were to compare it by score, I forgot to mention too that uh, HD Vinius EX Plus has a score of 37.232 according to my scoring system. And if we go ahead and take a look at my tier 8 medal spreadsheet, okay, he appears right here basically straight in the middle. Um, and that makes complete sense considering how 
like four out of the six tier eight metals do the exact same thing. Um, they're just different attributes, legitimately. Okay, and they have slightly different strength uh, numbers. Okay, well, they're not. Most of them do almost the exact same thing, so it's honestly not too surprising that like <laughs> they all pretty much have like the same exact score. Like, look at this. They pretty much have. They all have like a. 37.2 something something honestly it's not a big deal that uh hd vintage plus ex plus whatever is right here smack down in the middle amongst the tier eight okay what is worth noting though um uh, because of the fact that, that that right there doesn't really give us too much data and that's where i go back into looking at all metal section okay if we actually s compare and organize the scores of all the metals currently existing in the game as i have right now it's currently organized by score all right HD Vanitas EX Plus is right here, okay? He's all he's all the way down here. Now keep in mind, there's like over 400 medals in the game. So if you see any medal that's like on the front page <laughs> of the all medal spreadsheet, okay? Then that right there is going to give you a good idea of what's a good medal now. You should also keep in mind too that like the first chunk of the spreadsheet is just uh, copy metals because copy metals are by far just the strictly the best metals in the game. So if you don't take the copy metals into account, then HD Vanitas EX Plux uh, rises up just a little bit, okay? But essentially, like I said before, he has a score of 37.232, uh, which is not that bad. Honestly, that's around the score of a decent tier 7 metal so for a tier 8 metal to have something like that that's a little mm. but what really makes this metal aside from the debuffs that it uh provides is its multiplier okay it has a consistent multiplier of 15.38 and honestly that's that's a large portion of where its value is coming from honestly um especially because of the fact that you can only really primarily use him efficiently when you have an illustrated Kyrie or shion ex primary uh preferably shion ex okay his main use is giving mostly from his multiplier all right so knowing that can, now we're curious how does he stack up against other metals when we look at his multiplier so if we were to compare this with other metals total max multiplier we're going to organize it right now if we organ oops that's not right if we organize by total max multiplier okay this is where he pops up he pops up right here really close to the top of the entire list um uh, which is tied with like i i have like i said before i have some of the uh other ones here too but it's tied pretty much with some of the other other ones uh coming out or that's already out so it's pretty much right here amongst the top uh, and the only ones that beat it are currently some of the pure damage medals like Lingering Will, uh, Illustrated Donald and Goofy, Valor Jr., Hercules B, Queen Triton, and Illustrated Diz. One thing I should probably also note though is that pretty much almost all the ones that beat that small chunk that I just mentioned. So all the medals that are just like HD Vanitas EX Plus, okay. All the medals that beat this little group section are either random or single target metals okay so it basically what i'm trying to say right here is that these new tier 8 metals that all do the same exact thing that are very similar to hd vanitas ex plus uh these are currently the strongest aoe metals currently in the game and that's very relevant so after taking a look at the total max multipliers let's go ahead and look at the alternative total max multipliers. so taking into consideration if you can meet the multiplier conditions of a metal to achieve its max multiplier where would it range in the spectrum so if we organize it by that okay this is where it pops up amongst the spectrum it ends up falling just a little bit okay the chunk ends up going down just slightly but it honestly doesn't lower very much by very much at all okay the only metals that really end up uh going above it are those ones that are like that do extra damage when against a single target enemy so metals such as the ffrk terra and warrior of light um, which are at the top of the spectrum um, and then you have like the hd terra vanitas or ventus aqua and such ex those ones you have sora and Kyrie ex so these type of metals essentially just rose up a bunch because that's where like a huge chunk of their value comes from is when they're against single targets so basically, regardless of what you're looking at, these new tier 8 medals are essentially amongst some of the best medals currently in the game. And if you're looking strictly at multiplier, they are currently the best AoE 
medals in the game in terms of multiplier. One last thing in terms of spreadsheets and stuff, just to kind of be thorough. I have right here on the screen a complete list, my spreadsheet of all of the currently existing magic reverse medals in the game. And we're going to do the same thing real quick, okay? So if we organize it by total max multiplier, HD Vanitas EX Plus is right there at the very top. Makes complete sense, especially after looking at the all metals section and whatnot. It's some of the highest multipliers in the game, so it's only natural. It's going to beat Master Xehanort EX, who's in second place with the around the 12 mark. Um, same thing with alternative total max multiplier. If we take a look at that, it's literally exactly the same. HD Vanitas EX Plus is in first place with Master Zane or EX in second place. Okay, so basically right now, Magic Reverse Metals and Setups are in a very good spot. Now, considering the fact that I'm going through this metal analysis a little bit quicker than usual, I'm also going to take the time to point out some of the meta setups uh, involved with using HD Vanitas EX Plus. Okay, so as of right now, with this new metal out, we can now actually utilize very effectively the Moogle of Glory to the point where it's meta. So right here on the screen, I have a picture of khuxtracker.com where I constructed the, uh, a typical meta setup using the Moogle, Moogle of Glory real quick, just to kind of show you guys what exactly I mean. Now, a uh, quick disclaimer, for anything that I show you guys, I typically uh, make any type of setup whatsoever that doesn't involve any traits or skills at all. Um, the only exception and the, and the exception only applies to the meta, is the first copy metal within the setup. Um, and it will have extra attack. Because honestly, at this point, because of how easy it is to get copy metals now, almost every meta setup at this point will have Kyrie or Shion EX plus a copy metal with extra attack. That's basically where the meta is at the moment. And it probably that's probably where it's going to be from this point onwards too. So in every single one of these setups I'm showing in this video, I'm also going to be showing uh, the copy metal with extra attack. So if we take a quick look at the Moogle of Glory right here, as you can tell right here, I have Shion EX in the first slot. I have beginnings, uh, QR beginnings with extra attack in the second slot. So essentially by the time we finish using the second slot, we already have plus six reverse buffs and the rest of the buffs are already maxed out and debuffs as well. So all we really need at this point are going to be the uh, reverse debuffs. And that's where the HD Vanitas is going to come in handy. So we have HD Shion copying HD Vanitas, HD Vanitas doing his thing. Uh, and then we have Key Art Sky copying HD Vanitas H and is just doing his thing. And then at the very end for the pet slot, we have, we're finishing off with Sephiroth EX Plus. I mean, cause, cause why not? <laughs> and I know not everybody is going to be able to get this setup. Um, that's why it's the meta setup. Because this is where like the super competitive people are going to be at. Um, but it's also it's also very possible that a lot of you can actually get this setup too. Considering the fact that uh, HD Vanitas EX Plus is a 5 pull mercy pull this time. So for those of you that were lucky enough to get Sephiroth EX Plus. Chances are you'll very easily be able to get the HD Vanitas EX Plus medal as well. And you'll, you could very possibly make this setup. But this setup alone... Taking a look at this, according to khuxtracker.com, does about 60.9 million damage. And just quick disclaimer for those of you who are not used to seeing my videos and stuff already by this point. Uh, this is not an accurate representation of how much damage it actually does in game. It's simply to be used as a comparison tool when looking at the other setups, okay? So taking a look at that, knowing that it does about 60.9 million damage according to the website, some of you might be asking at this point, well, okay, Brian, that's that's great, but uh, I don't know what that means. Okay, don't worry about it. Just calm down, all right? <laughs> I'm about to show you what that means, okay? So just to give us a kind of refer reference point as to how good this metal is, let's go ahead and take a quick look at a common meta fairy star setup, okay? So right here, I have one of the current meta fairy star setups that's currently available in the game for upright strategies, which is where you have a copy metal. In this case, I have shown I have HD shown with extra attack, copying my Kyrie EX, so it does the same exact thing. Um, then I have the Riku over here in the third slot, the illustrated Kingdom Hearts Riku EX. Um, then we have Shion again here. Um, even if you don't. Uh, I, I know I have two Shions here. You could just replace this first Shion with any other copy metal with extra attack, to be honest, and it won't make too much, won't really make a difference. Um, but yeah, we have HD Shion in the fourth slot, copying the 
uh, Final Form Sora. And then we're finishing it off with an FFRK Warrior of Light. If you don't have Warrior of Light, you can use Terra as well. If you don't have either of these, you can use the King Triton or illustrated Diz when that comes out okay it'll, it'll be roughly the same it won't be exactly the same because this one uh because the ffrk medals do provide that guilt percentage buff as well as the upright debuff too so it's not gonna do as much damage but it'll be close enough but essentially this right here is the current meta upright strategy for fairy stars and when we take a look at this this setup right here does roughly about 56.8 million damage according to the website that's a significant decrease in damage compared to the Moogle Glory setup. So if we go back and take a look at it, the Moogle Glory setup that I had does about 60.9 million damage, while the Fairy Star's upright strategy does about 56.8 million damage. Okay, so right there, that tells you that this is currently much stronger. However, there's a th there's an issue though, okay? An upright Fairy Star's setup is no longer meta. I'm sorry for those of you that spent so much time making an upright strategy for fairy stars but as soon as sephiroth ex plus came out in the game this strategy was no no longer became meta it just became void immediately right here i have a reverse strategy for fairy stars okay and this is currently until vanitas ex plus came out into the game this was currently also currently the meta uh setup okay and it's almost exactly the same as the upright strategy just slightly different um and it's basically the old sephiroth ex strategy as well that the original one used to have just with the new sephiroth ex so you have your copy metal with uh extra attack copying uh shion ex over here you have nominate copying sephiroth ex plus uh copy metal copying sephiroth ex plus and then now that we have vanita's ex plus into the game as well that's just going in the pet slot Okay, and this setup right here does about 66.4 million damage. Okay, this right here is in second place when taking a look at the Mughal Glory. And you can probably tell just by looking at the two too, uh, they're almost exactly the same. They're pretty much the same exact method of setup. Okay, the only difference between the two are the actual metals being used involved. Uh, this setup for the Mughal Glory has about 60.9 million damage, whereas the Fairy Stars has a 66.4 million damage. And for those of you as well that are just looking at this like, bro, this is this is this is ridiculous. I'm nowhere. I'm gonna get nowhere near type of this. Don't worry, okay? We're not even the best part yet. This isn't even the best setup. <laughs> As of right now, with Vanitas EX Plus in the game, okay, there's an even better setup currently available. And, and here's the best part, it's actually utilizing one of our favorite reverse Keyblades in the game that we've been wanting to use for a very long time already. And that is the Diamond Dust, okay. At a level 30 Diamond Dust, you can have the currently best setup in the game. So right here, okay, I'm going to quickly take off the extra attack right here on the Vanitas, okay? So looking at this, okay, right now I have no extra attack on anything um, just so I can make a comparison. So for the Diamond Dust, what you basically want to do is you want to have Shioni X in the first slot. You're going to have a Nominee Metal in the second slot copying Xehanort EX. Then you're going to have HD Vanitas copying HD Vanitas EX+. Plus. And then you're gonna, and then instead of having a copy metal, copy HD Vanitas EX Plus, you're gonna have the Sephiroth EX Plus metal instead. Now, if you don't have Sephiroth EX Plus, uh, but you do have the rest of these reverse magic metals, you can you can substitute Sephiroth EX Plus for an actual copy metal, and it'll still be fairly close. Okay, but in terms of the absolute best strategy and setup this is what it is. Okay, so I want to show you a quick comparison. So it, it, depending on which of your copy metals have the extra attack let's put the extra attack on the nominate metal real quick and this is cameras 2 nominate if we were to calculate that this setup right here does about 64.8 million damage okay now it's a little bit less than the fairy stars uh reverse strategy setup okay however if you don't have rever extra attack on nominate but let's say you have extra attack on Vanitas, HD Vanitas instead, look how much of an increase it ends up doing. Let's calculate that. It actually does about 68.4 million damage. That is currently the strongest setup in the game for reverse strategies. And again, like I mentioned, this is not taking any other skills or traits into account. It's only taking into account the single copy metals 
extra attack because that's basically what's going to end up being at least in the meta in every single setup at this point in time. And for those of you that forgot, uh, the Fairy Stars Reverse setup has a damage output, according to the website, of 66.4 million damage, whereas the Diamond Dust at a level 30 Keyblade has 68.4. Now for those of you who don't have a level 30 Keyblade, even at a level 25 Keyblade, let's bring that down a little bit, okay? It still ends up being slightly better than the Fairy Stars. So this one does, at a level 25 Diamond Dust, this does about 66.8 million damage. And again, Fairy Stars does about 66.4 million damage. So it's slightly better already, and that's with no upgrades, no Moon Gems whatsoever. Let's say you you decide to buy the new Moon Gem Avatar board that's currently available this entire month. You can basically get your Diamond Dust up to level 27. And that alone right there jumps up the damage output to 67.2 million damage. So from this metal analysis video, I hope this goes to show you guys just how freaking amazing this new metal is. Other than that, that's it for today, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload new videos like this one, um, as well as to make sure you get consistent updates about when I upload new videos, as well as feel free to go ahead and check out my Discord. The link is in the description below. I really love being able to talk to you guys directly. It's a lot of fun. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts New Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.